doesn't work from over there. You have to be on the platform. I'm about to go to the institute. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Why to say good night? <laughs> and what they're up to. I put a clever little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. Well, well, looks like we have a winner. RF wave capture complete. Ramping the emitter. 60%. You're standing in wires. Emitter spiking, but steady. All that's left is to throw the transmit switch. Transmitting in three, two, one. Stay safe, soldier. Oh my god! It scared me. Oh my god. Ain't no one cur that you got unlimited data. <gasps> Where am I? I'm gonna just walk all casually and see what happens. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I'm known as Father. The Institute is under my Broken. Guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step. The guy actually wants to have a face-to-face -face conversation. Yeah, let's let's t wait. Hold on, hold on. Please tell me I have my mini nuke. Okay, we're all good. I got my mini nuke and my mini nuke launcher. We're all good. Things go south. We know where to go. Bro, what if the Institute is good? Could I become a part of it? Holy cow! This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. Bro! Well, that could wait. The Institute is changing its story. Specific, very personal. <gasps> Sean? You are here for your son. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. I'm Sean! Ah! I gotta take a picture! Sorry about that. <laughs> it's really you. Sean? Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? Sean. Father, what's it's going me. On? What's happening? I'm. I'm your dad. Yes. What's going on? It's me. Father? Your dad. Father! I'm here, Sean. What do you want me to do, Sean? What can I do? Father, help me! There's someone here, help me! 
Please, Sean. I'm your father. Talk to me. Just open the door. Father? Father, help me. He's trying to take me. <laughs> Sean. S923, recall code Sirius. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start... Give me my son. I am father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. Just... Help me understand what's going on here. Oh my gosh. That's just a robot. You shall have. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complex. That kid! It's just a robot. You have traveled very far and suffered a great He told me. Someone told me. His name is Father. Your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you after all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am your son. What? Who are you? Bro, the guy the guy who came in and turned off the fake Sean is actually my son, Sean. It's true. In the vault. Yes! He's <laughs> no an old guy. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son. You'd lost, but then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believe that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised, Raised by, by the institute. institute. My son is the leader of the institute. He's just, he's cool. He's kind of wise. He's wise. He's very wise. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was no. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever on. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking. Yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human. Plenty of that was available, of course, but it had all become corrupted. And this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary, but then the Institute found me. <laughs> wow. discovering records from Vault 111. Frozen in time, protected from the radiation induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Sean. It's really you. It really is. I know you must have questions. Please. 
anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg? He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nah. nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed oh. the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent. I won't lie. What else can... Her mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? She was murdered! Killed? Yes. Murdered? I'm not so sure about that. Still, I do regret never having known her. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if, more often. But what matters now is that you and I oh, yeah. have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. They're scared of you, Sean. Scared of the Institute. People are always frightened by what they don't understand. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's. Corey, who is that? Is that one gamer? But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. It ain't my mom. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something. It might be amazing. Jilly's. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Yes, that's what I want. <gasps> I know. <laughs> I know you've been through so much. Uh -huh. There is much. Uh huh. I'll do whatever it takes. I, the Institute is... You want to... And finally, Doc Wright. Yeah. There we go. It starts to hurt the side of your head after a while. Especially if you're one with the only one size of headphone. 